I have drawn two blocks of the Earth's crust that are moving relative to each other. The blue chunk of Earth here is moving relative to the green chunk of Earth right here on this side. And this movement could be from the two chunks of Earth pushing on each other, converging, pulling apart, diverging, or sliding against each other. Um, and any of those movements are going to cause pressures and tensions between the two plates. Now, the area that I'm going to draw in red here, where the two plates come in contact with each other, so this area right here that I've done in red, this is the area where the two plates touch each other. And that's the area where a lot of pressure and tension is taking place. So we're going to call that area the fault plane. Along the fault plane, anywhere along the fault plane, because of all the pressures or tensions, we could have a very sudden break in the rocks. And if there is a sudden break in the rocks, that would be an earthquake. And that earthquake, which is actually where the rocks break, could occur anywhere along the fault plane. It might occur above the, um, or right on the surface of the earth, and you would be able to see the rocks actually breaking apart. So you could have an earthquake up here, and you would be able to see that actually breaking apart on the surface of the earth. Or the earthquake might occur deeper inside the earth, down here. This black circle that I've drawn, which is exactly where the earthquake occurs, this black circle is called the focus. And the focus of the earthquake is the actual place where the rocks break apart. From the focus of the earthquake, there are energy waves that are sent out in all directions from the earthquake. through all of the rock layers that are um, near the earthquake happening, near the focus. The area on the surface of the earth, so this green line here would represent the surface of the earth. And on the surface of the earth, directly above the earthquake, right here, this is where most of the shaking and trembling that, of, that is going to be felt the very greatest. That orange area is called the epicenter. There are other areas out from the epicenter, say for instance here, where the earthquake is going to be felt, um, and it's not going to be felt nearly as much, so it's going to have less intensity the further away you get from the um, earthquake. Or out here, it would have less intensity. However, the actual energy of the earthquake, which is the magnitude of the earthquake, is the same all the way through. So as these waves come out from the focus of the earthquake, they have a certain amount of energy, which is called the magnitude of the earthquake, and that does not change. So two important things for our next lab are that you understand that the focus of the earthquake is the actual place where the rocks break. And the focus of the earthquake can be near the surface of the earth, up here. It has to be somewhere along the fault plane. It could be here for a shallow earthquake, or it could be down here for a deeper earthquake. The focus is the actual place where the rocks break. The epicenter 
is the spot on the surface of the earth. So here's the epicenter above the focus. So this is the epicenter. And that's where the effects of the earthquake are felt most strongly. So today in lab we're going to be plotting different earthquakes that have occurred in different spots at different depths.